For those not familiar with the term comping, it's a workflow that involves recording multiple looped audio takes. Segments of these takes are then assembled into one composite take. For example, comping can be used after recording multiple passes of a guitar solo or a vocal. It can also be used to compile multi-track drum takes. You can then create either a master take or different alternative versions of these takes. Samplitude has two different comping methods, the Take Manager and the Take Composer. I'm going to begin by showing you how to use the Take Manager to comp multi-track drums. In this example, some live drums will be overdubbed to this existing piece of music. I'm double clicking between the two markers to enable a range. Then I'm extending the left side of the range so it starts at bar 1. This gives the drummer one bar breathing space between takes. I'm turning on the click and I'm also enabling loop mode. There is also an option to automatically group recorded objects. Objects need to be grouped when doing multi-track comping. You can check whether this is enabled or not by pressing I to open the project options. Make sure Group Objects After Multi-Record is ticked. To assign your audio inputs incrementally, do the following. Select the first track and Shift Select the last track. Make sure you click in the Name field when selecting the last track. All tracks in between will now be selected. Next, right click on the record button of the first track and select your first input. A dialog box will appear asking if you want to increment devices. Click OK and now each track will be assigned to a different input. You can also arm multiple tracks with a single click. Pressing one track record button will record enable all other selected tracks. I'm doing the same with track monitoring. This method also works for the solo, mute and lock buttons. This will also temporarily group faders. To deselect the tracks, click in the area above the top track. You can do similar one-click assignments from the mixer. Select the first channel by clicking on either the channel number at the top or the channel name at the bottom. Then shift select the last channel. To deselect, click in the area to the left side of the mixer. So now I'm ready to record. We are looking at the VIP containing the recorded multi-track drums. There are a couple of different ways you can switch between these multiple takes. The most immediate method is to control right click on an object and choose your takes from the context menu. You can see there's a total of 8 takes in the list. Make sure you have Replace Takes on All Tracks ticked. Selecting a new take will automatically make it active in the VIP. Alternatively, you can switch takes using the Take Manager. This can be opened from the same context menu. Or you can click the Manager tab in the Docker. If the Docker isn't showing, Go up to the View menu and enable it from there, or open it from the Manager menu, or use the shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus T. If the Take Manager isn't visible in the Docker, right-click on the horizontal bar and enable it from the list there. The Take Manager will only show selected objects, so if nothing is selected it will be empty. You can also enable Replace Takes on All Tracks from within the Manager. If you click on the COG icon, you also have the option to enable Show All Multi-Track Takes, although I suggest you leave this turned off. Other options include Filter Record Position and Filter to Short Takes. The checkbox for Take 1 is ticked, so that is the active take in the VIP. To switch takes, simply tick another box. Doing this will automatically update the VIP. This can of course be done in real time, so if I hit play, you will see and hear the takes automatically changing as I select a different take.
Samplitude has a useful feature called Revolver Tracks, and these can be used to create playlists of alternative comp edits. They can be managed by clicking on the Revolver Track icon at the right side of the track header. This function can also be accessed from the menu item Track Revolver Tracks. To use Revolver Tracks on multiple tracks, do the following. First, select the top track and then shift select the bottom track, making sure you click in the name field. All tracks in between should now be selected and the track headers highlighted. Now, click on any revolver track icon and choose new revolver track copy from the context menu. The icons will now become highlighted to show that revolver tracks are active. If you open the menu again, you will see a copy has been added to the list. This copy can now be used for comping. You can return to the original unedited version at any time. So now it's time to do some comping. Draw a range over the section you want to experiment with and then press T to split the objects. After splitting the objects, make sure they are actually selected before going ahead with your comping. You can now cycle through your takes by using either the control right click context menu or by making your selections in the take manager. If you did decide to create a revolver track copy, you can always revert back to the original untouched copy. If you want to experiment further, create a new revolver track copy and begin working on that copy. I'm going to quickly do a comp for this copy. So now I can switch between different versions by choosing them from the list.